give them some idea what they'll be up against, we sent each of them to visit the other's restaurant to see their rival perform on home turf. Tom went first with a 140-mile trip into the Scottish Highlands. The sumptuous country house hotel could hardly be more different from his own little restaurant on the quayside at Leith. He's quite clearly a fish out of water. But does he like the hotel? I think it's wonderful that we have these places in Scotland and it really typifies everything about a Scottish castle and for tourists to come up here. Myself, personally, I much prefer to be in the city and uh, getting hit with 45 for lunch and 50 for dinner every day. While Tom wriggles with discomfort in the salon, Matt's sweating over a hot stove in the kitchen. He's decided on a dish that combines classical elements with some very modern touches. Veal cheeks with ravioli, served with buttered Savoy cabbage and topped with a Parmesan crisp. This is just the sauce for the garnish. So it's just a classic Madeira jus. The Madeira and pork, it's a, it's a good sauce. Um, it's a slight bit of acidity to it. There's a wee bit of vinegar in it as well, so it's a, it cuts through the richness of the pork. Nice wee Parmesan wafer on top. The Parmesan goes well with the onion, goes well with the veal cheek, and it's just a nice combination. Braised veal cheek, lovely. Parmesan crisp, not so sure about that. Maybe a wee bit gimmicky for me, I don't really like that kind of stuff. The liquor they braised the cheek in, I would love a bit more of the sauce, because I think that's great. No sooner said than done. Nothing's too much trouble in a top restaurant, and Tom goes on to scoff the lot. Except Matt notices for the Parmesan crisp. What was wrong with the Parmesan? It's <laughs> only better, didn't you, Matt? <laughs> Thank you very much. Nice it was delicious. Enjoy. Thank you. Then it was Matt's turn. He came down to Edinburgh and the dockside in Leith. With a play on his surname, Tom's restaurant is called The Kitchen. But what other clues does it reveal about its owner? Tom's menu is very, very interesting. It's, um, there's a few things that are a wee bit different, and there's, um, there's a lot of classics combinations on it as well. So will Tom serve up an even more modern dish than Matt did? Or is he trying to mislead his rival by coming up with something that is clearly classical? The woodcock is stunning at this time of year. You can see it's got some great fat around it. We cook it with the stomach and the innards of the woodcock still intact. And then the finest delicacy of it all, serve the brains and the head on top. Thank you. Then I'm going to put some foie gras. This isn't about my skill as a chef. This is about the respect of the produce that we're using. The chef has to respect the produce and not complicate it too much. Put that on the toast. Now, if he doesn't like this, he doesn't like cooking. It's a beautiful dish. Hello. Sure. Thank you. I thought I might get some game, and I've certainly got some game. The head's been split into a traditional way of um, serving with cock, and the brains are there for the eating. It's very nice. I wonder if Tom's got Matt a bit worried here. He certainly knows he's facing a formidable cook. Hi, Matt. How are you? Nice <laughs> to see you. Enjoy your meal? I did. I wasn't expecting something quite as classic from you. Oh, really? Yeah, OK. Um, very nice. I love wood cock. It's yeah, it's quite fantastic. Good. Well, it's all very friendly now, but how long will that last, I wonder? <laughs> 